What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now today for lunch, my mom requested a quick beef stir fry recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and be the amazing son I am and deliver this for her. So in today's video, I am using thin shaved slices of beef that we got from Trader Joe's. You can use whatever cuts of beef you want. You can use any other type of meat if you do not eat beef. I've made this with shrimp, with chicken, with any other meats and it works perfectly. So if you wanna see how to put this quick dish together, please keep on watching. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I am using shaved beef today from Trader Joe's. Now this is not a sponsored video or anything, I just like the way that this beef cooked up because it cooked very fast and it was nice and thin. So what we basically did was we washed the meat and rinsed it to get any of that rank smell off and then I added it into my pot with a little bit of oil. Now once you add it in, you're going to go ahead and allow it to fry up and allow it to get nice and browned and release some of its liquids and let those evaporate. As you guys can see, I'm going in here with a little bit of black pepper as well as some garlic powder just to flavor it up a little bit. This beef took absolutely no time to go ahead and cook up. It took about 8 minutes to finish cooking and as you guys can see, it's sizzling really well and it's gotten a dark golden brown color. So what I'm going to do now is remove all of my beef from my pan and I'm going to put it into a plate or a bowl and just set that aside while I work on the other ingredients. In the same pan that you had your beef browning in, you wanna lower the heat just a little bit so it's not as screaming hot anymore. You're gonna go in with a little bit more oil and then you're gonna add in some fresh seasoning. So I'm going in with some finely chopped garlic, some chopped ginger, as well as some hot pepper and some pimento peppers. This is me just giving my little Caribbean spin on this classic Asian beef stir fry, but if you didn't have the pimento peppers, you can omit it, and if you didn't want to put any hot peppers, you can omit it as well. Feel free to use whatever seasonings or flavoring agents that you have in your kitchen and what's available to you. Now once all of your seasonings brown up, maybe for just about 30 seconds, you're going to go in with some frozen broccoli and cauliflower. Now this is a very quick and very simple recipe, so I'm using some frozen veggies that I had in my freezer. If you have fresh ingredients, go ahead and add those in, but if you want to use frozen, that's a great alternative as well. Once your broccoli and cauliflower has started to soften up a little bit, you're going to go in with some sliced peppers and onions. Now again, I'm using frozen. I found these at BJ's. If you have a local BJ's, this is a great little something to have in your freezer for a quick fix. But if you didn't have the frozen, you could of course use fresh, just add it in at this stage. Basically, we want to cook the vegetables to our own liking. Some people like very crispy vegetables, some people like them more on the mushier side. So cook them as per your preferences. I've been sauteing all of these veggies for about five minutes now and they're cooked to my liking. I don't like my veggies too soft, nor do I like them too crispy, I just like them in between. So once they're cooked to your own liking, you're going to go in with your browned beef. Now once you add the beef in, you're going to stir it up really well and allow all of those flavors that are in the pot already to marry together. And at this point, I am going in with some soy sauce. I like to use low sodium soy sauce, so this way I can control the salt content of my dish. And I'm also going to go in with a little bit of hoisin sauce. If you don't have hoisin sauce, you could use oyster sauce or sweet soy sauce. Just a nice thick dark sauce to go ahead and give it some color as well as some sweetness. And just because I have it on hand, I am also going in with some added sweet soy sauce. But if you didn't have that on hand, you don't have to put it in. And once you add your sauces in, you're also going to go in with a little bit of sesame oil and you're going to stir everything up really well. Now, basically this is done, you cook it as much as you want. Now, some people like their beef to be very soft, some people like it a little chewier than others. So just cook it as per your own preferences and however you want to. I'm also finishing it off with a little bit of my homemade green seasoning. If you want to see how to put that green seasoning together, I'll have it linked right up here in the right hand corner. And of course, if you didn't have green seasoning, you could finish it off with any other type of fresh herbs, some scallions maybe, or anything that you want. Now being that I added in that soy sauce, I didn't have to add in any extra salt, but by all means, if you want to put more salt or any other types of sauces or seasonings, add it in. This is very much a blank canvas and just an idea I'm giving you guys, so you all go ahead and work with it and put whatever you want into it. So I'm finishing it off here with some sliced scallions, I'm going to add on some red pepper flakes, and that's it, we're good to go. My family's going to enjoy this today, as you guys know I do not eat any beef, so they'll be enjoying this on my behalf today. And of course, if you enjoyed this quick video, please go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments down below. I'll see you guys again very soon.